and welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we have a super quick and easy one for you. This is a classic Japanese recipe called Negitoro. Now, first I'd like to remind everyone that we have an affiliate link with Chef's Temp. If you need a kitchen thermometer or meat probe, please check out the link in the description below and use code LOVEYOURFOOD on checkout for 50% off your order. We've also got a Patreon if you'd like to support us there. I'll put a link for that in the description as well. In the meantime, here's our ingredients. So we've got some tuna, some shiso leaves or perilla leaves, some green onion, some dashi powder, some mirin, some sugar, some sake, and some soy sauce, and some wasabi. We're also going to use some nori sheets. So if you just get that nori that you use for uh, sushi, you can get use that and that'll be just fine. Now we're going to make a very small amount of this sauce. Uh, this is a scaled down version of a restaurant recipe, but we're only making it for about three people. So the amount of sauce is going to be really, really tiny. So we're just getting all of our liquid ingredients here, including the sugar. So it's the sake, the mirin, the soy sauce, the sugar, and the dashi powder. Those are going to go together into this little tiny pot. And we're just going to bring this to a quick boil to make sure that all of the solids get dissolved into the liquids. The end result of this is going to be quite a syrupy mixture. Now you can see here, everything's all dissolved in there. So as soon as that's boiled a little, we're going to take that right off the heat and let that cool down to just above room temperature or room temperature uh, before we add it to our final dish. And from here, it's just all chopping. So we're going to uh, chop up the green onions first. And we just want this to be pretty fine. We're going to be using it to cover everything uh, or just sprinkle on top of everything. So we're going to use the greens and the whites of these green onions. And there you go. You need a really good sharp knife for this. Ours might need a little bit of sharpening. There's some of this that uh, got a little smooshed. And then we're going to chop up our tuna. Now, ours is kind of off cuts. What you really want is quite a fatty tuna for this. That is the most traditional way to do this. Uh, ours was fairly lean. It was sort of off cuts. Now, this is most traditionally made with the meat that's sort of scraped off the bones. So it's very fatty. But we do want to get it um, minced without being like a paste. So we do want some texture in there. We don't want it to be n like just like a farce. We want it to have some texture. We want it to have some chunks. And then here's our nori. Uh, if yours is a little bit stale, if you've had it for a while, you can just toast it over uh, an open flame. Like you can to toast it over an element on your stove. And we're going to just slice that into really fine little uh, strips. And that's just going to go on top of the final dish as a, a really nice decoration. Now, we have prepared some sushi rice. We've done that before, and I'll put a link to that. Uh, on top of the sushi rice, you're going to put on your perilla leaf or your shiso leaf. And then some of your chopped up tuna. You can also use salmon for this. And you want to leave a corner of the leaf exposed. Uh, and I'll show you why in just a moment. Now, next is going to go on a, a healthy sprinkling of our green onion and a little bit of that chopped up nori. And you can just buy nori sheets uh, at the, uh, in the Asian section of most grocery stores. Then, then we're going to do a little drizzle of that sauce. And that sauce is incredibly intense in flavor. So you just need a little bit goes a long way. And now on that exposed little bit of leaf that we left there, we're just going to put a little dab of wasabi. Now, we discovered that the wasabi we bought is actually incredibly intense, so you might want to taste it before you do this. You don't want to overdo it because it can be a very intense experience, but that's it. That's the whole thing. Really, really quick, delicious, simple, and um, we hope you'll give this one a try. It's super, super easy and has a lot of flavor, really packs a punch. If you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. We'd like to thank our patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to support us there, I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. And remember to love your food.